Rising of the Shield Hero, Volume 2, Chapter 46. Exit by a kick again. We arrive at the hourglass of the dragon's era. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> one of her rules is to always kick the, the spear guy. She sees him. <laughs> we arrive... I'm just thinking about it happening and I'm laughing. We arrive at the hourglass of the dragon's era. As usual, <clears throat> the facilities give off a solemn atmosphere. You hear of the shield somehow, right? Just like before, the sister stares at me with a suspicious expression. Yeah, what do you want this time? I want to class up, then 15 gold per person. 15 gold? No matter how you look at it, that's too expensive. The sister's expression doesn't change, but her eyes are smiling. You want, <clears throat> you want to make me look like a fool for not being able to pay? Just 15 gold? I reluctantly reached my bag and added... <laughs> and produce 30 gold coins. Sister's, sister's expression changes and produces a document. It is prohibited for the Hero of the Shield Sama. What did you say? What does that mean? By the King's direct order, the Hero of the Shield is prohibited from getting a class up. That fucking King! I honestly want to kill him! I expect it especially needs stats, and on top of that ridiculous class up cost, being turned down without <coughs> even knowing about it. At this rate, it will be impossible to level up. Controlling any job changes without permission is just player control. Don't joke around! Those are the rules. Above all, in this first place, it is impossible for the hero of the shield some, uh, Say that first! I burst into a fit of rage, and knights start appearing from behind the reception. <sighs> Fine, I get it. I stomp towards the hourglass of the dragon's era noisily. Seriously, everything about this is unpleasant, especially this country. But what now? Raftalia was troubled and muttered, this is certainly a big problem. Hey, hey, what is that hourglass? Firo wants to see more. Hold it. While feeling unpleasant, I, t I, go t <laughs> I go take a look at the help section. Class up was found. Class up is a ceremony that expands the possibilities of members who become hero companions. Let's check the hourglass of the dragon's era. It is recommended that I do it after a star appears. There is no growth limit for a hero. Heroes have no growth limit? Does that mean I can get past level 40? But this is still very unpleasant. If Raftalia cannot class up, there will become problems with our attack power. What should we do? It can't be helped. We'll do this later. Fortunately, raising our levels were not scheduled until after the wave has passed. I'll think about it afterwards. There's also the trump card of having Raftalia become an adventurer and acquire a class up recommendation that way. It can probably be done with more money. But there's no time now. Searching for what would also uh, be especially difficult. Searching for that. That reminds me, the slave trader had slaves over level 40. Wasn't I going to go there anyways to get a weapon for Fido? Ah! What's that? I turn around to see Moriyasu pointing at me. You! What are you doing? What? Don't apply some strange connection to me. Are you trying to play dumb? I know, the owner of that fat bird is you. Fat bird? Is he talking about Fido? Come to think of it, how's your crotch? It was almost crushed thanks to this fucking guy. What? It wasn't destroyed? Don't joke around. To be kicked by such power and still not lose its function? You haven't lived up to my expectations. You bastard. It's not me who did it. Why would your crotch be destroyed? I ask Raftalia, who looks amazed. All right, Raftalia was not there to witness this guy getting blown away. Why are you looking at me with such pity? Because you missed a really refreshing moment. Moment? <laughs> I don't need to know such a thing. Fine, hand over that fat bird. I'll kill him. You want my bird? What even happened? You're the one who approached carelessly. Are you feigning ignorance? I was kicked whenever that bird spotted me. Hmm? What did he say? Is it fate? What do you mean? I said, whenever we meet with your fat bird, it chases me to kick. I look at Fido. Then Fido says, yep, I kick him every time I see him. I see, I see. That's great. <laughs> Why are you praising it? I pat Fido's head. I noticed that on Mariyasu's quite nice equipment there is a crotch protector in the groin area. That is hilarious. This guy has a trauma. I burst out laughing. <laughs> That's enough, you bastard. That's right, Moriyasu-sama, don't concern yourself with that unpleasant shield. What are you saying, you follower? That fucking woman's face is red while denouncing me. That is refreshing. This is... This is refreshing. What a refreshing smile. I haven't seen Nafumi-sama like that before. You. Moriyasu clenches his fist and grabs my coat. Master, Firo is hungry! The bird cannot <laughs> read the atmosphere asserted itself. The bird that cannot read... <laughs> Moriyasu's gaze turns to her. Pita... Pita. Hmm, I don't know. Moriyasu stiffens when he makes eye contact with Firo. What's the matter? Deria! He takes a second look at me and throws a haymaker punch to my face, but I catch it. What was that? If you want to have a fight, use your spear. Miss, hurry up and run away. This guy is very dangerous. Moriyasu shouts in the direction of Firo, trying to look like a good person. That's the fat bird you wanted to kill not long ago. Oh right, she's in her human form now. Is it because she's pretty? That doesn't seem like Moniyasu. 
Eh, hey, master's not dangerous, right? This is your master? Moneyasu's face is dyed with anger. You have another slave again? What's wrong with you? Do you have a problem because she's a woman? Wrong! I talk big. Amazing, this is the first time I saw such an ideal woman. Huh? I do not think a girl so similar to Flonechan would exist in this world. Who is that? It's a game character. That reminds me, Firo's appearance is that of a certain pure daughter angel who is a game in my world. Uh, I don't, I don't know what that is. Ay, what a moe angel. Shut up! I do not want to know your sexual preferences. Different worlds are the best! Moriasu's tension reaches its climax. The mood of his followers are the opposite. I don't see the human being that flew into a rage a while ago. However, uh, I see Firo with a well-defined expression. Miss, what is your name? Uh, it's Firo. Don't just answer honestly. Moriasu takes Firo's hand affectionately. That guy is probably working you like a coach horse. I will save you. Well, I don't pull the carriage like a horse. You should just... <laughs> you should just accept it. This is the kind of race she is. I pull the heavy carriage every day for more than a month. Annoying. I don't see this ending well. You bastard! Moriyasu is being noisy. I don't have a lot of time. I want to leave already. Release Firo-chan! This again? I don't work for Aftalia, so it's Firo this time? I didn't- it didn't work. Whatever. Do you want- <clears throat> do you want to take away my subordinates this much? Moriyasu shouts with bloodthirst and turns his spear to me. At that time, what are you doing to master? Firo knits her eyeballs and <laughs> eyebrows, eyeballs, geez, her eyebrows and asks, "Don't worry, Firo-chan, I will save you. You're not listening. Completely in his own world. Anyway, that fat bird you were looking for, that's Firo. Now, Fumi, you bastard, to say such a thing to a girl. It's you. You're the one who's been calling Firo f that. Even said you wanted to kill her. Ha! Huh? This guy looks at me like I'm stupid. <laughs> Though I do call her a fat bird. Anyway, stop complaining. Firo will protect Master. With a buffoon, Firo returns to her true form. Eh? What? Firo raises her foot and kicks Moriyasu in the ground while he is dumbfounded. Ah! I was able to see it. With a perplexed expression, Moriyasu flies over 10 meters while spinning. Furthermore, the crotch protector was shattered. Okay! Were they destroyed this time? No, they're probably okay. There was a crash protector. Now then, let's ignore the fool and move on. Aftalia's face is blue and muttering, oh, uh, uh. Still, his entourage is not trying to help him. Well, a lot of unpleasant feelings were blown away. I must give Firo a reward. All right, shall we go to the slave traders now? Firo returns to her human form with a frightened expression. Firo's going to be sold? Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to sell you. I'm going to buy you a reward. It seems she has been faithfully following orders, and whenever we come across Moriyasu, he is kicked. Not to mention that blow just now. This good behavior must be rewarded. I should buy the equipment you wanted. Yay! I also want food, too. Yeah, definitely. Then, I want food cooked by Master. Very well, this will be special. Yay! Firo begins skipping happily. Oh, Firo is pretty great. Uh, <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. uh, fucking Moriyasu is such an idiot. I love him. He's dumb and he's great and he's dumb. Why am I saying it? Why am I saying he's great? He's great as a character because <laughs> because he just causes so much ridiculous, unnecessary tension and <laughs> just like such an idiot. But also just like uh, everything breaks down as soon as he sees a pretty girl, and that's always funny. So he's great as a character. He's not great as a person, but he's great as a character. That's that's what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, man.